Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Successfully Unemployed Show. My name's Dustin Heiner, and I am your host. I am here to show you how you can be successfully unemployed through having businesses, side hustles, investing in real estate, and all everything else like that. I want to show you how to never have to work a job again and work for somebody else because we have money coming in from other places. Now, today's show, we're going to be talking about everything about this show and what you can expect, what you're going to see from me and hear from me and from other people, all the people we're going to be interviewing. So today, I am introducing you to this entire show. All right, well, let's get started in today's show. Now, I am super excited to have you here with me. Again, my name is Dustin Heiner, and I started this show in order to show people how they can have a life without working a job. Now, we it's not like we stop working completely, but we are successfully unemployed where we're not working for somebody else, where we're trading hours for dollars. We're making somebody else, else wealthy. We don't want to do that anymore. We want to do that for ourselves. And that's what successfully unemployed is all about. Now, this is a weekly show. I might also do some shows in the middle there every week. So you might get two a week, but I want to bring to you amazing people who are just normal, ordinary people just like us. See, I am just an ordinary person, but I have been blessed to be successfully unemployed and never have to work a job again. And the reason why is because I've invested in real estate, I have businesses, I have side hustles, and that brings me money. That makes money for me and my family. I have a wife, an amazing wife, and four kids. Now, I want to share with you how I became successfully unemployed. Now, many years ago, I was working a regular job. I was working IT or technology for the local county government in California. And I was just working as a normal, normal employee. And I realized, man, I just got tired of having a boss. But on top of that, something changed my life dramatically. So I have had four kids. All right, take that back. My wife is amazing. She's had the four kids. So we have four children together. And I got to tell you a little story that changed my life. When we had our fourth child, I go on to paternity leave. And paternity leave is where the dad takes time off from work and maybe a week or so just to bond and help the mom and all that sort of stuff. But this is our fourth kid. And so I take a week off of work and I come back and I work for about a week and everything's going just normal, just fine like it should be. But then on Friday at about three o'clock or 3.30 p.m. on a Friday, I get a call and I pick up the phone and it's my boss's boss's boss, I believe. Uh, His secretary calls me and says, Dustin, would you please come to the boss's 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 office? And I said, sure. Then I hang up the phone and I immediately start to think, what, what's going on? Like what's happening? What could I have done wrong or what could I have done right? You know, am I in trouble? Is this good news? And then I got to thinking about rumors or small rumors before I went on paternity leave that were rumbling about. And there were being talks of layoffs. They were saying there's not enough money going on or going around and they needed to lay off people. And I, it was like basically a rumor. So I had no clue that this was actually happening. Well, lo and behold, I get this phone call and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, this is probably, you know, could this be it? And as I sit in my chair, I start thinking about my family. I start thinking about my four children, my beautiful wife, my stay at home wife who is homeschooling her kids thinking, oh my goodness, am I a failure? Like, Am I getting laid off right now? What am I to do about feeding my kids, providing a roof over their heads? I started feeling like I let them down. But I was like, okay, no, it can't, it can't be. I have great seniority. I'm working for the government. Nobody gets fired or laid off from the government. They have plenty of money. So I'm like, okay, I try to put those fears aside. And I get up and I start walking down the long hallway. Actually, it wasn't that long, but it felt long. And the more I walked closer to my boss's office, the longer it felt. I felt like I had lead shoes. As I was walking, my feet were so heavy and I started thinking more and more about my family, getting worried about how I'm going to provide for my wife and my four kids. I just had our fourth kid crying at home, not sleeping at night. I'm not getting any sleep and I'm getting worried. So I get to the area where my boss's office is and his secretary, really nice, sweet lady said, Dustin, would you please have a seat? He'll be with you in just a minute. So I sit down and I immediately start to sweat. I start sweating like my forehead starts sweating. My hands started getting all clammy. And I started thinking like, "Uh uh-oh, this actually has to be it. I might be getting laid off. And I started thinking, oh no, what am I, how am I going to provide for my family? Well, the door opens up 
and out walks a lady. She has a piece of paper in her hand and she's noticeably distraught, almost crying, doesn't say anything and she leaves. And I look at the, my boss and my boss says, Dustin, would you please come in the office? I get up and I walk into his office. Lo and behold, I actually get laid off. The boss says, we're running out of money. There's not enough money. There's cuts and all this sort of stuff. We're going to have to lay you off. So you have two weeks before you're, you're finally laid off. And I just was just devastated. I literally felt like a failure, like I'm not going to be able to provide for my family. So as I'm walking back to my office, I, sit, I get there and I start thinking about what am I going to do? Feeling like all this these years that I've been working this basically dead-end job because I'm not going anywhere now, I'm going to be fired or you're laid off. I'm thinking about how much time I wasted at this job. And think about how much time you are wasting at your job that you could eventually be fired or laid off just like me. So I get and I sit down and I give myself myself five minutes. I say, okay, Dustin, you have five minutes just to sulk or just to be upset. I take that five minutes and I'm just noticeably distraught. I am just like that lady that walked out. But then I said, you know what? It's time. It's time to never let this ever, ever happen again. I need to change what I'm doing. Instead of being an employee, I need to be the business owner. I need to be the investor. I need to be the one providing the money for my family. I need to be independent of anybody else. So being financially independent. So after that five minutes, I made that decision where I am now an investor. I'm a real estate investor with a side job of working for whatever company I'm working with. The other thing I needed to do was to find a job to provide for my family. So really quickly, I found another job in the county or inside the government. I was really, really blessed. There was another county department that knew of me. They knew I did all the great work that I did. And they said, yes, we'll hire you right on. So I literally didn't even get laid off. I went from one job directly to another, didn't get laid off. And I was blessed to continue working to make money for the family. That's when I decided it's now time to change what I'm doing. Start businesses, start investing. So what I did was I became an investor with a part-time job. Now, it so happens that I'm actually fully employed. Like That's where all my money comes in is from the job. But I'm telling everybody, my value is what I give myself, not from my job. My job doesn't give me value. Like If somebody says, what do you do? I don't say, well, I work for this. No, I'm an investor. I am this, like I'm a business owner, I'm an investor. Even though all my money comes over there, I, that's my side job. Even though it's 100% of my money, that's my side job. So I started, I became an investor. And I bought one property after another and kept renting them out. And I was making money, $250 or more every single month from these properties. As I continued to buy more properties, I got more wealthy and more wealthy. Honestly, within six years, I had 19 properties making $9,500 in gross rents and $6,500 a month in passive income. I replaced my entire income in six years. Then three years later, I finally quit my job because, you know, it's kind of hard to leave that paycheck, that, that security blanket of that paycheck. I finally quit my job when I was 37 years old. And I have now been able to teach people how to do the exact same thing by investing in real estate. And this is also summing everything up. This is why I created Successfully Unemployed. I don't want to see you put your value or get your value from your job. Your value is what God's given you, what your family gives you, what you give you. That's your value. You're worth so much more money than anybody could ever pay you. Your boss is only paying you enough to keep you working, but not too much that takes money out of their pocket. So, you know that you're worth more. I believe that you are worth so much more than anybody could ever pay you. And that's why I created Successfully Unemployed. This show, everything about it is to help you see that normal everyday people, I was working a normal dead-end job in the government and I became Successfully Unemployed. I went from ordinary to extraordinary. We want to be extraordinary where we literally don't need a job to ever provide for a family. We're financially independent. And so from there, I want to bring on many, many guests that are creating businesses, creating online businesses, real brick and mortar businesses, service businesses, anything that you can think of, I'm bringing on these businesses, these people, these investors, these side hustlers, everything that they are going to be showing you how they became successful and employed. They were ordinary, just like you and me. And they've become extraordinary to never need to work a job again. Now, I'm probably not going to bring on any big name people because I want to show you that ordinary people can do this. I'm going to interview a friend of mine that I met at the gym. After about two years of working out with him, he was able to quit his job. And in quitting his job, I was able, I was encouraged. I said, you know what? I'm so excited for you. This is the best thing ever for you. So 
I want to show you how you can be successfully unemployed. And now what you would get out of this podcast is a lot of wisdom, insight, step-by-step processes to do the things that my guests have already done. They've blazed the trail for you. They're going to show you exactly how to do this. Now, this is exactly what I want for you. If you stick with the Successful Unemployed show and you're going to find something that gravitates to you, maybe it's online business, maybe it's servicing um, Facebook ads, maybe whatever it might be, maybe it might be copywriting, maybe it might be starting a, a carpet cleaning company, whatever it might be. I want to show you how to become successfully unemployed. And that's what this show is all about. It's all about you and how you, being ordinary, just like I was and everybody else was, can become extraordinary and never work a job again. I want to see you live the dream life. All right, guys, you're fantastic. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope that you're going to get so much entertainment, education, and encouragement and have a lot of fun with me as we go through showing you how you can be successfully unemployed just like everybody else. All right, you're fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. Check out every single episode because you're not going to want to miss a thing. I've already recorded tons of these and you're going to see so many great ways to be successfully unemployed. All right, join with me as we create a movement of people being successfully unemployed together. All right, you've been fantastic. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'll see you soon.